this has become the, ner the norm. We have a lot invested in this company over three years. We, we, we got we millions sure invested in this company, no and so, so when we were shut down, that made it really hard for us. So this is a major in, so pivot for us. It might be one of the best things we ever we did. But right now, I'm uh, kind so, of scared you know, shitless. Here, so I don't usually get scared, so. <laughs> What's going on? It looks like you got a lot of bells and whistles. Yeah, we are putting together the virtual home flipping workshops. We've been doing these for a long time. We've been doing them in reality, like in stages and in hotels and all that. And now we've had to convert because of the coronavirus and everything happened. We've had to pivot like a lot of businesses. And so we've been able to turn this into a virtual event. It's our first one ever. We're hoping to make history here today. It might be the way we do things going forward, but we're really having to figure out all these systems. And let's not say if, let's say when we pull this off, this will allow us to go national, even international, a lot faster. Because the one, the worst thing about doing the workshops that Amber and I love to do and our team loves to do is the travel. The travel's tough on our family. And we've got four kids, so leaving them is difficult to do. But now we're home. Like at night, we're home and we can do this and still change a lot of lives. At the end of the day, that's what we do. We actually change lives. That's what we, that's what we do it for. It's what we work so hard for. So I see people coming on here. I'm excited and I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little scared. Um, I like applause. I like walking up and hearing everybody cheer and do all that kind of stuff. And now it's going to be silent. So I don't know what to expect, but we're looking forward to it. We're excited about it. And Hopefully we can make some things happen. One of the things I think we're gonna have a challenge with though, doing it via Zoom versus our live events is you don't have the same energy in a room though. And people become our students because they feel like they get to know us and like us and trust us. And those are the kind of people you wanna do business with. And jumping into real estate is no like simple feat. You know, there's a lot of fear that goes into it and we help people through that fear. So we're trying to find ways to really connect with our, our guests and our students because we're losing that engagement that we have in person of being able to shake their hands and being able to hear their stories and being able to give them hugs by the end of the event when after you feel like you know each other. So we're really working hard on, you know, trying to find those ways we can connect with people via Zoom since it's not in person. So do you think you're gonna keep the energy level up, keep the excitement up? So that's this guy's job. That's my goal. <laughs> and we'll see. and he's really good at it. Exudes that energy when he's on the stage and you know we've got our little studio set up here so and he's got everybody on the big screen here so he can see their faces and see their reaction and actually call them out by name and get people like really engaged. But he is, he's very high energy, he's very passionate. So I think that that will transfer through the screen, but we shall see. We're gonna find out. Yeah. You have five kids, I hear. Four kids, yeah. Four? Oh, yeah. I heard five. Close enough. Okay. <laughs> well, I have five kids, if you're counting Glenn. Okay. Good point, good point. He just has four kids. Okay. <laughs> We are getting ready for the home flipping workshop. It is day one. It's been like a few weeks of like really building everything out and getting it virtual instead of live. We had all the kinks work out in our live one and now we have all the kinks to work out of the virtual one. So it looks like everybody's here. I just got here. One of my houses is in multiple offers, of course, this weekend. <laughs> So before COVID, you know, we were rocking on like all cylinders. We, we had just gotten back from Atlanta. Um, Glenn and I had just traveled to a big mastermind out in California. And it was actually while we were in California that COVID hit. It's like, you can either, it's, it's kind of like that fight, flight or freeze. You know, we, we really had to decide what we wanted and how we wanted to do things. And so it was just a matter of pivoting. We had to just really readjust. We didn't want to stop. We didn't want to freeze. You know, the world goes on regardless of whether there's a pandemic or not. So we decided to start taking steps and moving forward. What if our whole team came down here just real quick? I know you, introduce, you, that's, you do that at the end of the day. Yeah, it's too much, I think. It's too much. My, my thought was you should at least point out who we are. So if people want to have a question or whatever, and they want to send a private message to any one of us, they should know who we are. We're just, you know, always trying to find ways to make people feel more warm and fuzzy. I know. I can do that with the team. I can 
can see everybody on my team. If I think of it, I can see everybody on my team. This isn't. I didn't. You're throwing this at me. With, I know, uh, honey. Fourteen minutes. But ago, that's our life. So <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. I am probably more nervous than a live event. You know, I just don't know what to expect. Like, I'm not sure. I see a lot of people that are checking in right now. And I don't know if they're all going to fit in the same screen. And there's some technical difficulties we're working through. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how to... I'm not sure. And so, I think my biggest fear right now is I don't want to lose technology. I don't want to lose... You know, if I'm, in a, if I'm in a hotel and I've got 200 people in front of me and I'm speaking. And something happened to the AV, I can yell. Or I can figure it out. Or we'll laugh. We'll have a good time with it. And people won't leave the room. Here, if something happens, they get booted off, they're gone. So that's my fear right now. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? I'm trying to figure out which one was the one that she wanted. I have no idea whether that's in the actual presentation or not. All right, we have 10 minutes till showtime. Yeah. Good, bro. Yeah, say, say, you're going to see him in Forbes this month, in the July edition of Forbes, you're going to see him. But mention CBS, NBC, see all the major networks, you, you've, if you haven't seen them, you, you should, you know, you will. Just really build that part up. And make, make sure you mention how damn attractive I am, too. Because yeah, uh, may, there may be a camera issue, they may think I'm fatter than I actually am. It's tough for me not to tell the truth. <laughs> Welcome to the first <laughs> virtual home flipping workshop. Real quick, let's uh, start to make sure everybody can hear me. So give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Keep the thumbs up if you can see me as well. All right, we are definitely in the, in the right spot. I'm glad everybody can hear me. Sounds like we're good. <laughs> you guys, if you also haven't turned your camera on, we would love to see everybody's face as well. So Richard, Robert, Chris, couple of you have to turn your cameras on. Uh, so during this event, we want everyone to really listen with an open mind. It's going to be tough because we're not going to be able to see your hands or hear you, but we want to see you. So big round of applause. Help right. me. Welcome, Glenn Schwann. You guys hear me okay? Give me some thumbs up if you hear me okay. Excellent. That was the best silent applause I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Without any further ado, I actually just want to bring up really quickly here my beautiful bride and my business partner who, without her, I can do nothing. So I want to have uh, Amber Schwarm get up here with me. So give her that silent uh, applause, if you would. That means a lot to me, guys. Just so you know, when I see that, that gives me energy because I need that kind of energy. So thank you very much. So you're going to see Amber uh, on the screen because our team is on here. So we've got our team. So. Uh, if you see the name Dakota Schwarm on there, he's actually running our admin. Notice the last name? Yes, he's our son. So he's our oldest son. He works for multiple companies of ours. And so you'll see him on there. We've got uh, Jeff Miller, who you met already. We've got Brian Lutz. We've got Meg Ryan. Guys, wave. I think it's going well so far. People but are now, participating. Show hands. Who here has flipped the house? I want to see who's showing hands. Okay. I didn't see a lot of hands go up. Okay, a couple, but most hands did not go up. So what, what held you back? People are starting to show. We'll it's first. like any crowd. They have to get warmed up first. How have you done it so far? Just different. You know you can make a lot of money in your own. All right, so this is Kathy Palmer. Say hi, everybody. Make sure they can hear you. Hi, guys. So I'm going to tell you this funny story. So Kathy was in the very first Destro Pro meeting that we had. Way back in history, we used to have live workshops. We were allowed to actually be together. You know. Very historical time in our life, apparently. And so you came to our shop that was in Schenectady. Yes. What we want to do is to teach you how to keep more of the money you make. And the goal as a business owner, the rules are completely different. This is a really important for everyone to know. And uh, you want to write this down. What do you think? What's going on? I think I'm this morning went way better than expected. I, I wasn't sure what to expect. I'm watching the screen here, and I'm getting lots of feedback, lots of thumbs up, lots of claps. I went and checked upstairs and the team said that I think everybody's here, even somebody extra popped in. So I think we have about 30 people that are here uh, in the Zoom room with us, 30. We, we call them units, because if, if, uh, if a couple's here, that we consider that one. Um, so this has been great, the interaction's been great. I wasn't sure what to expect. I'm getting used to talking to the camera. Um, the camera for Zoom, right? I have a camera over here that I'm talking to and so I, I have to look at the camera and not the, not the face, I keep looking at the screen, like I see their eyes, I wanna, I wanna connect with the people in their eyes, which is what I do live, but I can't really do that, so, cause then they think I'm looking off in the distance like this. 
So I got to make sure I'm looking in the camera like I'm looking right now. So I was very concerned we're going to lose something delivery from, from Zoom to when I'm in a live, um, live setting in a hotel or on a stage. I saw the same looks. I saw the same laughing at the same spots. I saw the same engagement. I saw them putting their noses down and going to work during the workshop pieces. I saw all those same things. And I've kind of, myself, I've kind of shifted from fear to encouragement. Like I'm starting to see this might work. And if this works, this could be a game changer for us. So right now we're doing one-on-one -on -one meetings with our, our attendees. So they're checking this out. So our, our admin man right here, Dakota, is my son. And he's, he's running the game here. So if anybody has any questions, he'll put them into a private breakout room so they can have a one-on-one -on -one session with one of our real estate advisors. So you can have any, get all their questions answered and go from there. So right now that's what we're doing. There's music playing. I'm about to go live again as we wrap up the day here on Friday and um, we'll see how this all works out for us. So right now it's going to be challenge free. Is that true? Yeah. Is that yeah. Yeah. Knock on wood, knock on wood. We have not had any problems. Okay, let's not be nervous about it yet. All right, good. Uh, I, didn't I thought it was to submit. You know, I did too. First, the first technical difficulty. Yes. So we have to get through this. This so, is the most important part of our weekend. So we're gonna have to get through so, that. We Meg, there's a we got a problem with people. I have to go downstairs and tell everybody what the deal is. Okay. I need to go live. We got a little technical difficulty. The cue music on or. Hey guys, we got a little bit of a technical difficulty we just realized. Um, again, this is brand new to us, so work with us, we be patient. Um, people are saying when they get to the end, they have to enter an email address in order to submit their application. We thought it was a, we thought it was a one button, as it turns out it's not. So Amber is making an email address right now and is gonna put it in the chat line and I'll, I'll tell you what it is in just a minute. So stand by, again, we've made it pretty far today without any technical difficulties, so we're gonna bump through this one pretty quick. So we set this up, this is brand new for us. So we're, we're live right now. Uh, I am muted, but we're live in the Zoom meeting with 30 some people. And right now we thought, we normally have an application people fill out to work with us. And the application, <laughs> we thought it was hit submit and it got delivered to us automatically. Somehow Amber stumbled onto the fact or people tried to send it and found out that we had the wrong, <sighs> the wrong thing. So now I guess they have to enter an email address. So Amber is working on, adding an email address that we can use uh, for this to work. So we're doing our best right now to, to get through that. So I'm waiting patiently. These are the kind of glitches you just don't want, especially in this part of the process. You just, this is not good because this, this is the most sensitive time of the weekend is getting people to apply to work with us. This is really what we're, what we're doing, what we're here for. Well, let's see what happens now. I can't tell if people are typing or checking their email. I don't know if they're working, if they're doing their thing or not. When we have a live room, people sit down and they fill applications out. And we all see what's happening. They're filling it out. They're asking questions. It's very interactive. We've lost that interactiveness right now because people are home. It's easy to get up and be distracted and do something else and not fill the application out. So, at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. Let's go. Wow, my voice. All right. So, Amber got it figured out. She just made this. So, it's apply at VestorPro.com. Apply. It's right in the chat box. Apply at VestorPro.com. So when you're completed, that's the email address you want to put it to is apply at vesterpro.com. Please write that down in your book so you have it. Apply at vesterpro.com. Sorry about that, guys. We made it a long time today without having any technical difficulties. We were really close on that, really close. So it looks like we got the technical glitches worked out and we've got five applications so far and this is what we're here for is to change lives. This is the first process and we've got to we got to get more in. Normally we've got 80% of the rooms turns in the application and 90% of the room turns in the application. And so now we got to push. And that's that. Day one in the books. The real test to see how we did is to see how many applications we got. So let's go see how many applications we got. Hey, gentlemen, good job. Seriously, Mike, good job. Do this together today, this is good. This was good. We had some doubles, so. Okay. Thank you, pal. Great job. Good job today. Right here, Pat. That was a lot of work. We'll just really have to draw that out of yeah. them because they may not be quite as forthright, being the that we're 
I on virtual yeah. versus in person. You know, I can't reach my hand across the table and touch theirs yeah. when I start. Are we going to make anybody cry? Hand them a tissue. Yeah, I mean, people you know, cry all the time at our cry. events when we're sitting down meeting an advisors because they they cry. sense that we're real people and really care about I their <laughs> future. <laughs> you know, we can be as compassionate as we can, but it's it's but I not think the that same. Last hour, I mean, People were pretty open there yes. more than what I expected. Chatting. We don't yeah. normally that do that. Nice. Those are those are the those yeah. are the good solid. Usually people Friday nights right? people fill those out and bail out, and we're gone in the hotel room by five fifteen. That was forty minutes of people just talking and being pretty comfortable. So we found a way to connect with people at the end. We opened up and had actually live chat sessions. Amber and I would sit down here. We think next time we might do an actual Friday night cocktail hour. People might make a cocktail and sit there and talk, get to know each other. And really, we found a way to bond virtually, which I didn't think was even going to be possible. So, at the end of it, right before we broke for lunch, everybody was like, you know, yeah, this is better than I expected, which is what we really strive for. You know, we try to under promise and over deliver. I think when people go to an event like this, you don't exactly know what to expect. And we really hope that people, um, you know, we, we've worked really hard on that presentation to really give a lot of value and. I think that really comes through. I gotta tell you, pretty, uh, pretty amazing. This might actually be a game changer for us and for our business, so pretty cool.